Well, she's upset and she's exhausted. It was in July, in the mid-July, when her husband first started experiencing symptoms of Triple E. It wasn't until this past Monday that they received any positive test results. Scott Doobie has a job that keeps him outside all day in Southampton, which is right next to Kensington, where there was another case of Triple E reported. It had been a decade since doctors in New Hampshire last diagnosed a human case of Triple E. A case in August broke that pattern. Now there are four reported cases. According to the CDC, symptoms include headaches, fatigue, nausea, and in severe cases, it can be fatal. There really is no treatment for the Triple E virus. Rachel says doctors told her Scott's symptoms looked like meningitis. They also match what Rachel had heard about Triple E, but she says she had to beg doctors to test him for 10 days. If they never checked at all um, and they just assumed it was meningitis, then the CDC doesn't know and then people don't know that it actually is in their area and they should be worried because it is really serious. Rachel says it took a month for them to get those positive test results back. We spoke with officials from Portsmouth Regional Hospital and they say they don't regularly test for Triple E because it is so rare. Live in Newmarket, Isabella Turst, WMUR News 9.